welcome back happy new year i hope you guys had an amazing christmas and a really good start to your 2024 i am so excited to be sharing a new video with you i did something a little bit out of my comfort zone this was actually a present for my boyfriend for his christmas present he loves landscapes so i decided to venture out of my comfort zone and do a seascape which I actually really enjoyed this whole process so I envision myself doing a lot more seascapes in the future. In the last video that I did I referenced a course by Sarah McHendry on Skillshare which I loved and she really gave me a lot of insights and a good starting place for me to figure out how to do a seascape so if you haven't checked that out go have a look you can also sign up for the same course and figure out exactly what I did with the link in my description but I really enjoyed her process and her use of color because it's really quite simple and easy to understand and you guys know I love a monochromatic color palette so that's what I did for this artwork I mainly used Payne's gray and then a couple of other blues and one green a little bit of brown and black and obviously white I actually really enjoyed this process you will be able to notice that as I go through this portrait there is a lot of different phases that this painting goes through it goes through a bit of a light phase where everything's really light and washed out and then it goes through a really dark phase and then for the finished artwork I ended up blurring out the tiny clouds on the horizon and not giving them too much definition and really just letting the bigger clouds speak for themselves. So this is quite an abstract piece. It is really refreshing to be able to do an artwork that doesn't have to look like anything. It's just a beautiful landscape and this is referencing a photo I found online but I actually went away from it quite a bit it was just more of an inspiration and then I went from there and the clouds kind of turned into something else but coming from drawing and painting figures where it has to look exactly like the reference it's really refreshing to be able to paint something that can be anything I can push and pull the boundaries quite a lot and be able to create whole new clouds and whole new worlds within the artwork without it looking weird and that is something that figure painting doesn't really allow because if you do that with the figure they look really wrong so um, I really enjoyed this and I think I'll definitely go down the track of doing more landscapes to come but yeah anyway I hope you guys have an amazing start to your year I can't wait to share more of what I've been up to love you guys so much Mwah. reduced all of my charcoal drawing courses to $49 because my whole career up until this point was based around charcoal drawings. I really just wanted to create these courses and make them a lot more accessible for you guys. So if you're interested in learning how to either draw a tiger or how to use charcoal in general, I have two online courses, how to draw a tiger masterpiece and the ultimate charcoal techniques course, both for $49 each. So if you're interested in learning how to draw they are a great place to start. Mm -hmm. 